Hello kings and queens, I'm back. I'm Queen J and this is Talks with Queen J. If you haven't already, please like, subscribe, and comment and hit <clears throat> my bad y'all. And hit the thumbs up sign to let me know that you like my video or what you think about my videos. With that being said, let's get right into this video. So this video is gonna be about the abortion ban and the nonsense of it all. So, in doing my research, I've come to find out that it is up to eight states now that have the abortion ban. The following states include Ohio, Utah, Missouri, Kentucky, Arkansas, Mississippi, Georgia, and Alabama. Now, some of these states are saying uh you know up to six weeks some of these states are saying you know until you hear a heartbeat blah 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 okay number one who are you a man who are you anybody else besides that person to force them to have a child whether they got raped whether it was incest or anything of the sort, who the f would want to have that baby? Some of the strongest people have those babies and are mentally messed up for the rest of their lives. It's, it, it's like, in my opinion, no, I don't feel like every woman should just be out here willy-nilly having abortions, but it's her choice. It's her body. Whether it's incest, whether it's rape, whether it's just because she can't afford a baby and doesn't want a baby right now. It's her choice. It's not a man's choice. It's not another woman's choice. It's her choice. She's the one that has to carry that baby for nine months. She's the one that has that baby sucking the life out of her for nine months, kicking her. Just, are you insane? And the audacity of some of these stupid ass men saying online, oh, y'all want to get, y'all don't feel no type of way when the government forces men to be fathers, but y'all have an issue when they force y'all to be mothers. Are you stupid? The government forces men to be financially there for their child. They don't have to see that child. They don't have to go to no plan, no birthdays. They don't have to go to no recitals. They don't have to teach them how to ride a bike. They don't have to teach them how to tie a tie. None of that shit. All they got to do is pay some money. They don't ever have to meet that child in their life. That does not compare in the least to a woman being forced to have a baby growing inside of her. To have to be sick. To have to pay for these doctor visits. Like, and yes, some people are saying, oh, well, just just use protection. Protection is not 100%. No protection is 100%. Her being on birth control and him using a condom is still not 100%. So you can use all the protection you want and still get pregnant. I know a couple girls that got pregnant on different types of um, birth control. So, excuse me? Excuse me, the audacity of these men to share these freaking um, memes saying things like this. Uh, having a baby growing inside me that I have to live with every day and be financially stable for. Sucking the life out of me. Everything else. Just paying something every month. Like, are you insane? That's just, that's just, oh, Jesus. Like I said before, I don't think these women, us as women should just be out here willy-nilly having abortions. But if that woman does not want to have that child, there could be nothing wrong with her. She could not have been raped. She could not have anything. She does not want to have that child. She is not ready financially, mentally, and emotionally to have that child. So y'all would just rather her have that child and be out here on these streets? For all these states that are having these abandoned, um, abortion laws, where are these safe havens for these women to go that are, that are not financially, mentally, and 
emotionally equipped to take care of a child. Y'all need to stop open up, opening up centers for them. Y'all want them to have all these children? Y'all want them to not, um, y'all want them to not have these abortions? How you gonna help them take care of them? Oh, okay. Also, there was another thing that came up that said, Caucasian folk are dying off, having less babies, um, not producing as much as black folk and, um, you know, minorities and whatnot. And that's why they made these abortion laws. So these, because come, come to find out, white women are having way more abortions. I think it said like, I'm not even going to go with statistics. I, I could be wrong, but I think it definitely said that white women are having more abortions than black women. So, so they're dying off. So they want to stop all of them from having abortions. They want to jump on our men. They want to do anything so they could stay alive and pretend like they're the majority when they're not the majority. They've been not the majority for a while now. They just have us brainwashed into thinking that they're still the majority. So with that being said, y'all, let me know what you guys think about the abortion laws. If you agree, if you disagree, um... I don't know what the popular opinion is, but I don't care. It's that woman's body and nobody has a right to tell her what she has to do with it. And if they, and since they are trying to force them. Oh, one more thing, y'all. Since before Planned Parenthood opened, before abortion was legal and there were all these places for women to go, they were doing it at home in somebody's basement with coat hangers, throwing themselves down the stairs to not have these children. That's going to be rampant now, even more. And then what about rapists that rape people? Oh, um, I I will get less time in jail for rape for a per, a man will get less time in jail for raping someone than a woman would for having aborted that baby. What the hell? Like what? Like, this is insane. Like, y'all see how, like, they're trying to do anything, y'all. They're trying to do anything. And they steady trying to kill us off, steady, steady trying to lock us up, do this and do that to us. And we still making babies, falling in love, just making kings, making queens, making more princesses and princes. They will never be able to get us down again like they had us before. And I put that on everything. But anyways, you guys, let me know what you think about this video. If you agree, if you disagree, what are your opinions? Um, let's have some dialogue. Let's talk about it. Uh, with that being said, continue to hold yourselves up as kings and queens. Subscribe. Please subscribe to my channel. Like and comment and hit the bell so you are notified when I post more videos. Mwah.